What's going on guys, Chris Bumstead here. This is the beginning of a new series I'm doing for you guys and it's gonna give you guys some tips and tricks, just kind of quick videos on how to bring up legging body parts, some exercises you guys can try in the gym, just anything you guys wanna hear, anything I wanna share with you guys. So first video we're gonna do is talk about biceps. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know biceps are a legging body part of mine. So I wanna show you guys three exercises along with some tips and tricks along the way to build bigger biceps. All right, so first exercise, this is probably my favorite bicep exercise that I've been doing in like all my arm day workouts. And it's seated on a slight incline bicep curl where you hold the dumbbells at your side and you kind of bring it up. And you're gonna, at the top, raise your elbows forward a little bit with kind of the shoulder flexion because another function of the bicep is actually a shoulder function. And at the very bottom of the rep, you're gonna get a deep stretch. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So set up on the bench with your chest tall, dumbbells at the side beside you, with a bit of a stretch in your bicep, and curl to the top, and in one fluid motion, kind of finish the movement, flexing your shoulders at the top, and bring your elbows forward, and then slow and control the weight down. When I do these two, I like to keep my wrist locked in position, not supinating and pronating along the way. Typically for this exercise, I like to do three working sets with one or two warm-ups at the beginning, depending when I'm putting this on in my workout. And I aim for anything between 10 and 15 reps. Because you are in a deep stretch, you don't want to be going too heavy and low volume. So keeping the reps a little bit higher and gets you a better bicep pump. So on to exercise number two. This is going to be a straight bar cable curl. I really like doing curls in the cable machine because it keeps constant tension on the bicep. At every range of motion, the cable is constantly pulling down and your biceps are constantly fighting it. So it's really good for your pump. I like to put this in my workouts either mid or towards the end because you can do any kind of drop sets, anything really quick on it and do a bunch of different variations. One trick I really like to do on these, and really you can apply this to any bicep exercise, is you want to think about squeezing your ring finger or your pinky finger on both hands. And what that does is kind of focus you, your wrist out, and get a tighter contraction of your bicep at the top. So you're going to want to put the bar as low as you possibly can, so it's not pointing at the bottom. And just curl up, squeezing those pinkies, getting a tight squeeze at the top. Another trick you can add to these, when you get to the end of your set, you start to get fatigued, you're failing, whatever, you can take a step forward and start performing drag curls, where you pull, keep the bar super close to your body and you're almost driving your elbow backwards, like this, and it gives you a really tight squeeze and it's just a way to add a little finisher to the set. For this exercise, I typically do three working sets, one warm-up. I only need one warm-up because I usually do it later on in my workout. And for my working sets, I usually aim for 10 to 12 reps. Biceps are never something I do low reps, mainly because I'm really trying to focus on mind-muscle connection. And they're not a huge muscle on you, so you really want to just focus on a tight contraction and getting a good pump. And when I add that little finisher to the drag curls, I usually only put that on the last set, so the third set. And that's just kind of like a deplete the whole muscle, kind of get a really good pump in there and finish it off strong. Moving on to the third and final exercise. This is going to be a seated barbell or easy bar curl. I have an easy bar here, which is a little bit easier on your wrist. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit on a bench like this. You're gonna hold the weight kind of just before your knees here. And then you're gonna curl the weight up and control it down like this. So this is so much of the first exercise where we're almost focusing on bringing the weight up here. You're getting a little bit of shoulder flexion for that final little tight contraction of your bicep. Because this is a little bit less range of motion, we're doing this at the end of the workout as we've already had the big stretch movement, which was the first exercise I explained. One of the key benefits of sitting down in this position and lowering the bar down to your knees is you stop any kind of momentum. So you gotta do really strict form. You wanna stop right before you touch your legs and then control the weight back up. Anything when you're training arms and biceps, anything really, but especially arms, you really wanna focus on the negative of that rep, control the weight down, and then drive it back up. And again, as in every, any bicep exercise, you can focus on squeezing your ring finger, your pinky finger, get a really tight squeeze. So 
For this final exercise, I normally perform three working sets and perform maybe eight to 10 reps. It's a little bit on the lower volume side for this because it's kind of a compound movement where we're using a barbell or an easy bar. And on this, on the last set, if you guys want to add a drop set, it's a really good way to just kind of deplete the muscle at the end of the workout and just finish strong. And if you guys want to help that make it a little easier, typically if I'm doing like a 25, instead of putting 25 on the bar, I'll put on two 10s and then you can just strip one off a lot easier and complete the drop set. So these are my three favorite current exercises that I've been applying to my arm day to try and help my leg and biceps get better. If you guys like this video, like the tips, you've tried them out, let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. And if you like these videos, let me know below any other videos you want to make me see, any tips and tricks you want to learn, anything I apply to my training, anything you guys want to know, comment below and I'll make some more videos for you guys.